we're going to show you how to upgrade your 3D printer to go from Bruce Banner to the Incredible Hulk using the Chad mod. Hulk oh. oh, smash! <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to E3 3D. I'm Mike. I'm Sierra. And today we are going to show you how to upgrade your 3D printer using the Chad mod. First video we're going to show you how to print everything out uh, to get everything assembled and attached to this. The second video we're going to show you how to get everything wired up properly and get it attached permanently on here. And in video three we're going to take this one off, put the new one on, and adjust certain settings so it doesn't mess up exactly what's chad mods here you know no i don't i just know it's an upgrade that we just did it's an upgrade that we're about to do well. <laughs> <laughs> in one of our facebook groups uh it's we call it the chad mod because one thank you chad for upgrading upgrading j henrik b's yes original Which, design yep and Bob, thanks a lot for all the testing because if it wasn't for that, then uh, this wouldn't be done. And then those of you out there, if you can take IKEA instructions and you can put it together and you're like, this is way too easy. You're gonna be able to follow Sean's instructions on that uh, document because your instructions were great. Thank you very much. However, if you're anything like me. Or me. Then unfortunately. You cannot. You can't. And that's why we're making this video. So we're going to show you how to do that today. So to make sure you have all the right parts, all those parts are down there. Now, you need some carbon fiber filament, or if you have a resin printer, you can use a resin printer to make this. However, we don't have a resin printer. So we are... <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> what you're going to need uh, is some really strong filament. The one that we used is a uh, nylon carbon fiber mix uh, that we used. It worked great for us. So we're going to show you how to get all this together. The one thing that you need to make sure of is when you order all your parts below, uh, make sure that everything fits together. We unfortunately did not do that because, again, um, I don't look at instructions. I just like, oh, I got this. And He's so, big brain. Yeah, well, most of the time. And so we... Uh, had to reprint everything, unfortunately, because uh, the original heat set inserts were way too large. And so I went to the store and bought some acorn nuts. And I thought if I sink them in far enough, they'll stick in there. On the back side, you'll see there's no acorn nuts on it. The reason for that is the filament got stuck and jammed, twirled off and spiraled and created a big bird's nest. And then instantly it popped the entire top piece off and ripped all four acorn nuts out. Um, luckily, I got to the printer as it was just starting to dangle there. Uh, no damage was done, luckily. This is video one. We're going to show you how to print everything and get it attached to the carriage and the housing.
in the top right hand corner you'll see that he said insert the right side of that is going to be the top of it so make sure you look at them before you place them into your carriage here we're just using a standard wood burning tool that we've got turned up probably three-fourths of the way and all we're doing is putting that heat on top of that heat set insert and letting it melt its way down we're only applying the pressure of the wood burning tool repeat this process until you get all eight heat set inserts in place Once you've completed putting all of your heat set inserts into your carriage, go on and move on to the top frame where it will require one. Here you see me putting in an acorn nut, which I did not replace because there's nothing really pulling on it too much uh, since you're not tightening, tightening the fan in too much. When you get your V6 hot end, you're going to want to remove the original Bowden tube that's in it and you're going to want to trim down a smaller one which you can see right here that I put in so that way it will fit into the extruder. Here we have to install the shortened handle for the BMG extruder. The original handle is too tall. Uh, you're also going to need a uh, M30 by 20 bolt with the spring and a washer instead of the actual turn-in screw because the turn-in screw is going to hit the frame. On the top of the extruder, you're going to need to pull the filament clip on there because it could hit the frame on the X-Max. With the carriage oriented this way, we're wanting that fan to be blowing in a downward motion from this angle. If you're not planning to upgrade the size of the fan on the hot end, you can skip this step and use the one that came factory with it. However, if you are upgrading it, make sure you print off the larger fan mount and attach it to the hot end. Here you want to ensure that the fan is blowing the air onto that hot end so it can keep the cold parts cold to help prevent heat creep.
to save some money i just used the stepper motor that came with the original quiddy setup and right here you can see that i have to take off the factory gears and put the gears on that came with the bmg dual drive extruder So now that you got everything printed and you've started putting all your pieces together, it's looking really good. Now we got to go on to video two, which is going to be wiring. Wiring. Yes. So follow us over to video two. Had to think about it. Had to think about it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So follow us over to video two, and we'll show you how to wire your stuff. <laughs> 